Leo, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. Now, this will be for the 18th to the 24th of April 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. And energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. You're not wanting to make a change, work on yourself, grow, leave a situation. There's something that, yeah, something that you're, not, you're trying to avoid. Uh, ending, changing. There's something going on. Um, children may be involved as well. For some people, there may be something to do with um, nurturing or unconditional love, something like that as well. Okay, the two that fell out are happy thoughts and grandparent in reverse. So, let's start with happy thoughts. There's something that obviously doesn't give you a lot of happy thoughts. Um, maybe you're also needing to be more positive. Um, but I feel like whatever you've been going through, whatever this butterfly is that you, you know, you're not wanting to release or deal with, um or change i feel like yeah you don't have a, lo a lot of happy thoughts with this situation um now you've also got grandparent in reverse so whether there's something to do with a grandparent or um i don't know whether there's something there's some sort of bond that that's been broken due to um a lack of trust or a lack of something um, maybe they did something to upset you but yeah you felt like that you had this very special bond but it's yeah like unfortunately I feel like something's broken broken the bond that you possibly had with somebody um, and that might only be for someone very specific, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's just that you're not having a lot of positive kind of thoughts about what you've been through. Um, now, exercise is a good way to actually get, you know, to raise the serotonin levels. That can also give you more energy, make you feel more happier. Um, it can help with just obviously your body as well, but yeah, I mean, it can make you feel a lot more happier. And I feel like, you know, when you exercise, you always feel good after due to those serotonin levels. So maybe that's a good way to kind of help. And also it helps you clear your mind, you know, get a bit of um, like just time to kind of take a break from the daily stresses that you've been going through. You may also like music. You got music for manifesting. Maybe you need to be using music when you try to manifest what it is you want, whether it's humming, singing, playing something. Um, you know, maybe you can focus on some sort of chant, something, something to help you manifest and think of what it is you want. So maybe use maybe music or something creative. Um, but I feel like whatever signs and synchronicities, your intuitive feelings, any of that, pay attention. Because um, I feel like that would help you in whatever situation you're going through as well. I feel like for I feel like though so far it's like you need to change something you're not wanting to change. But it's like they're trying to help you with manifesting and being more sort of happier and more positive and so they're trying to give you kind of ways to help with that <laughs> which is good stay strong in your faith 
in reverse, dolomite. And it says a positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. And because you don't have a positive mindset, it's not going to give you a positive outcome, which is why, as I said, they're trying to help with the whole, this is how you can become more happy and more positive, which is good. Um, and you've also got trust the signs and your inner guidance because it will lead you to fulfillment. Like I said, trust the trust your intuition. There is something you need to forgive though. There is forgiveness heals. So any repressed anger, it's blocking your health and happiness. Also important. And maybe that's got to do with the grandparent um, in your situation. Doesn't have to be grandparent. Someone older than you could be your parents, grandparents, another family member. Um, yeah. As I said, I feel like this whole thing so far is just them trying to help you be more positive so you can get a positive outcome. But it all comes back to you needing to transform, grow and let something go. Can I have one card, please? There it goes. Initiation and flow. Flow. Water. That which conducts. Unseen powers are active here. Powers that nourish, shape and connect. The attributes of this rune are water, fluidity, the ebb and flow of emotions, careers and relationships. It encourages you to immerse yourself in the experience of living without having to evaluate or understand. It speaks to the satisfaction of emotional needs, to the awakening of the intuitive or lunar side of your nature. The moon draws us towards union and merging, whereas the sun strives for differentiation. Drawing this rune often signals a time for cleansing, for revaluing, reorganizing, realigning. It may call you to study spiritual matters in readiness for self-transformation, Success now lies in contacting your intuitive wisdom and attuning to your own rhythms. A rune of the self relating rightly to the flow, or, sorry, a rune of the self relating rightly to the self flow represents what alchemists call their conjunctio, conjunctio or sacred marriage. In fairy tales, it's the end where the hero and heron live happily ever after. So I said, go with the flow, I guess, and do the work on you. Six. Initiation. In reverse, it's about expecting too much. A counsel against expecting too much or expecting in the ordinary way. For the old way has come to an end. You simply cannot repeat the old and not suffer. Call in your scattered energies. Concentrate on your own life at this moment, your own requirements for growth. The rune of, the, of initiation counsels you neither to focus on outcomes nor to bind yourself with the memory of past achievements. In doing so, you rob yourself of a true present, which is the only time in which self-change can be realised. You may feel overwhelmed with exhaustion from meeting obstruction upon obstruction in your passage. Yet always you have a choice. You can see this apparent negativity as bad luck, or you can recognise it as an obstacle course, as a series of challenges specific to the initiation you are presently undergoing. Then each setback, each humiliation becomes a test of character. When your inner being is shifting and reforming on a deep level, patience, constancy and perseverance are called for. So stay centred, see the humour and keep your faith firm. I guess it's about changing your perspective really, isn't it? And, you know, realising you've gone through something and learn from that you've got the self in reverse on the bottom and this talks about you know begin by being clear with yourself don't turn to others look inside whatever part of your life is in disarray stop and stop and consider you'll recognize the outer enemy as a clear reflection of what you have until now been able been, been unable or unwilling to recognize as coming from within Above all, be humble. Breaking the momentum of past habits is a challenge here. 
you're always at the beginning. I mean, trust yourself, you're always going to know. All right, let's get some tarot. Three more cards, please. Two more cards, please. Two more cards, please. There's really two last two don't want to come out, do they? Jesus. All right. All right, let's see what there is. All right. On the bottom, you have the two of Michael, which is the same as the two of swords. Now, the Two of Swords in reverse is all about something you need to release. You're indecisive, you're possibly confused, you're at a stalemate, in denial, maybe you don't know everything, your head and your heart can be, you know, they're not in alignment. Um, I feel like... It's funny, you've got two and two, and twos are all about choices in partnerships. So, um, have you got any other twos? No. So, two and two, maybe Google 22 um, or 22. You know, maybe there's angel number 22, there's something in that for you. Um, but yeah, as I said, twos are just about choices in partnerships. So you've got the two of cups and the two of swords, both in reverse. You know, you probably went through some sort of breakup. Um, you just weren't really dedicated in the situation, the relationship. You're not kindred spirits. You know, I feel like you gave up because you don't, I don't feel like you really see each other as being each other's person. Um, but yeah, like you definitely possibly are in denial about that. Um, you're in denial about, you know, you both being dedicated. Um, you're in denial about having a breakup. You're just kind of stuck. You're not kind of progressing from this situation. And I feel like, you know, overall, the main card of the read is this 10 of cups like this is what you want right you want this happy family life with contentment blissful love affection you know you want that happy happy family life um, the happily ever after Can you tell me about the 10 of cups please Ten of cups of virgo And they're really not wanting to come out today. I 
feel like you don't want to be alone but you definitely went through some sort of emotional um loss you know something you definitely went through something that really you know broke your heart broke your marriage broke your relationship whatever but they broke your heart um and you definitely went through this situation where there were secrets um it's left you with a lot of inner turmoil deep-seated fears um I feel like you need to let that go but you've also got the ten of wands in reverse you know so you could have felt like you were doing everything to you know make this work it left you feeling burnt out left you feeling like it was a burden um there could be a family you could have a family with this person but i feel like you just felt like you were doing everything. Um, I'll just see where I want to start. Where am I getting a feeling of wanting to start? I feel like you were manipulated in this situation um, with the magician in reverse. I feel like you're not manifesting what it is you want and I feel like you know the situation you were in it didn't give you your wishes fulfilled like you went through a period of time where it just wasn't like a joyful time it didn't give you you know Happiness, material abundance, contentment, security, nothing. It didn't give you whatever wishes you have to be fulfilled. It didn't, it didn't offer you that. Um, as I said, you want this Ten of Cups, but it's not offering, it's not offering that. Why? Why was it not offering that? it could have been a one-sided relationship i also feel like they could have been giving to other people as well um because you've got the six of pentacles next to it yeah look same card your wishes were not being fulfilled like i said doubly confirmation that that's you know Def de definitely double co confirmation there um you've got the queen of swords in reverse this person was probably bitchy cold-hearted deceitful sly so your wishes were not going to come true because of the kind of person they were um and i see you as being somebody who is more reliable and trustworthy and hardworking and you know devoted and yet they're more not that <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just feel like they could have been giving to other people and, um, I feel like there was a lack of balance as well. Like there wasn't, it wasn't an equal give and take. It was one sided. You put it, as I said, you felt like it was a burden. You were putting in all this, this work and effort and love and whatever they weren't giving back they were too busy giving to other people so you could have been cheated on in a situation as well you've got the queen of swords you just had the queen of swords in reverse and here it is here queen of swords you've got the nine of cups nine of cups queen of swords queen of swords like they're just telling you the same information over and over you know what you need to do and i feel like now is the time to kind of work more on 
your your career make more money you know be self-sufficient work on being independent have clear boundaries i feel like i'm really exhausted that's how i'm feeling like i feel like the situation has just drained me um but yeah i feel like you know with the queen of swords i feel like it's definitely about working on yeah working on your career and and it's about you having gone through situations that taught you like it's about experience you know you've experienced things it's definitely i feel like it's definitely taught you a lot like this was a definite i feel like this was a definite lesson like a spiritual lesson you needed to learn there was there was a lot to learn from that you know i feel like turn to your circle of support just you know go and spend time with friends um yeah nine of pentacles you had this before work on being self-sufficient nine of pentacles <laughs> no matter how many times it comes out it's like yeah just just work on for now focus on your career work on work on the nine of pentacles work on just focusing on the career and making money and man i'm tired i feel like this is draining as i said you could have had a financial loss with this person as well but that's probably why now you're focusing on just working on your own having your own financial material comforts and your abundance and you know like you're working on all of that now um work on manifesting what you want though i feel like you know at the moment you're not working on manifesting what you want and if you want this ten of cups you need to manifest that you know and i feel like that's not happening um could also be because you're being manipulated or you don't have a plan but i feel like you really need to just work on work on manifesting what it is you want you've got the eight of um pinnacles as well which is all about as i said like widening your knowledge mastering your craft uh, it's about your employment doing extra training widening your knowledge just any of that but being determined um, making steady progress having drive it's about effort skill like all really good things to do with your career maybe you're doing some additional training or something like that to help with you know you making more money um or getting a career um you've got the ace of michael which is the ace of swords in reverse I feel like you definitely had some clouded judgment with this situation and maybe that's because you've got kids with this person or you know I feel like you tried to make it work um but I feel like you probably had communication issues with this person um maybe you don't have any communication right now maybe you got some inner clarity you realized there's too many obstacles to you getting what you want with this person and maybe that's what i said like you, you're not manifesting what it is you want because you're tolerating or we're tolerating something that's not going to give you that um you've also got the queen of pentacles you know i feel like once again this could be you Somebody who's very resourceful and domestic and dependable, warm-hearted, generous, reliable, loyal, nurturing, you know, all of these things. You could be a working parent. Um, but, yeah, I just feel like you need to look after you. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Why is that here?
it's funny though you got the ten of um cups here so to get your wishes fulfilled both sides of that is about not worrying about your relationship and just focusing on your career making money um now mm, you've got the queen of wands out now this could have involved a third party because that's generally what that means um but it's also about you know having courage and be independent be determined confident you know a woman uh, not going to be a woman a person of action and you've got two of the other queens and as i said there could be additional people involved um and i feel like even part of the obstacles was due to this additional person but other than that you know i just feel like take action just nurture you look after you work on your finances um yeah and then you've got the seven of swords in reverse so you definitely i feel like you were deceiving yourself into thinking that you're manifesting what it is you want i also feel like you were deceiving yourself into thinking this person can give you your wishes fulfilled so that's why you stayed there even though i feel like you know it was more just you deceiving yourself really because i don't feel like they could oh five of wands and the devil yeah like five of wands and the devil yeah, there's there's some sort of addiction or this person was just a toxic person they could have it could have just been an unhealthy relationship um but yeah i just feel like there was lies there was temptation you know it could have been anything and as i said i i feel like there was a third party involved um but with the um five of wands you know that's there's conflict there's disagreements competition like i said you know and yeah i just I just feel like it all comes back to this person was probably cheating or it doesn't even have to be sexual third party it could just mean this person was in their ear saying walk away get away from this person blah 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 whatever now which didn't help the situation it was never going to be successful when there was this going on now you've got the five of michael and the eight of Raphael. they both fell out you're not wanting to walk away with the eight of cups in reverse um and the five of swords in reverse was like reconciliation so i don't know if you wanted to reconcile with this person because you didn't want to walk away um maybe because you've got kids or you know as i said you were in some sort of just self-deceit you thought that this person could give you your ten of cups so maybe that's why you didn't want to walk away um tell me more and as i said you did get the children card over there so whether as i said i just feel like there's kids and i feel like that kind of clouded your judgment into why you think you should stay i feel like none of that you know would have helped um but you've definitely had some complete and painful ending with somebody who i feel like they made an impulsive decision they were ruthless they were a narcissist it was all about them um there definitely was somebody else i feel like um with the three of pentacles the six of yeah six of um swords we just had this card this is about resisting the change it's about unfinished business it's about like pretty much the same as the five of swords it's about you not wanting to move on but there's no trust you've had a breakup with this person you're probably not kindred spirits not meant to be together and really they made you feel lonely they could have left you with a lack of abundance lack of you know material lack i guess 
They left you were left in the cold. You feel like this person probably left you for somebody else and probably, you know, left you with lack of material resources and stuff as well. Um, which is why you're now working on your career. That's how it reads. Um, yeah, look. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Not wanting to let something go with the death card. And you've got the Page of Swords. Someone's definitely going to communicate. So whether it's you wanting to communicate to this person or whether it's they have some, them coming to communicate to you, maybe somebody definitely wants to reconcile and not walk away. And I feel like that's due to the kids. Um, but you're not manifesting what you want. You've also got the music for manifesting. So I feel like you're definitely not manifesting what it is you do want. Um and as I said, you're probably not in a real good headspace right now, but at the same time, you're not wanting to make a change. And as I said, this doesn't make you feel good. So, anyway, that's what I have um, for you, Virgo. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.